Imagine you're in the middle of a lesson and then suddenly things aren't going according to plan. Now that's not difficult for teachers to imagine. Your students seem distracted and then the energy in the room shifts. What do you do? So this is where the phrase adaptive teaching comes in. It's simply the ability to respond in the moment and also outside of the lesson. And without a solid understanding of how students learn, it can be a real challenge especially for new teachers who are still trying to master behavior management and their subject expertise. So in the link in this video, researchers highlight two concepts that can help. The first one is neuroplasticity and the emotional cognitive link. Neuroplasticity reminds us that the brain is always changing, always learning, and what we can do as teachers in the classroom is where we might tie that to our emotions so that's the second part the way perhaps a story or a personal connection or how we make difficult concepts in our classrooms make sense in the real world and this suddenly is where teachers can tap into something quite powerful in their classrooms imagine if or once upon a time a great way so my tip is always tell stories using some of those phrases stories engage our emotions and also activate our neural pathway. So the best teachers know how to spark these emotional connections to boost learning, not just academically, but also pastorally, particularly in all those behavior conversations we have with students on a daily basis. So in the blog post, there's a link to the academic paper. It's quite a short read and it's not too difficult to uh, understand, plus a series of reflection questions from me to ask yourself and also share with colleagues at school. So one key question from me is, how can teachers assess the emotional state of your students to adapt your teaching in the moment. So I hope that helps. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.